Hello and welcome to the news' new and improved Pompey Talk in association with Giant Leap. Joining me today on the sofa are my colleagues Jordan Cross and Steve Wilson. I'm Jeff Marshman and we'll kick off with looking ahead to the visit of Accrington this Saturday. Jordan, your thoughts? Yeah, um, another game to look forward to, Jeff. Um, it, it's one that Pompey obviously going with momentum with the nature of the, the game against Luton last weekend, the last minute goal. And of course, there's so many connections. You've got John Colburn there, um, Liam Richardson, who, who was heavily influenced by him, and, and Paul Cook himself. So lots of connections going into the game. Um, it's going to add some spice to it. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it'd be, uh, it'd be a, a, a lot of coaches and, and, and staff and managers looking to get one up against, uh, against the old pals. And Steve, uh, Poppy going into this game with real form in, in the league, three wins and two draws. Accrington in not such good form, let's say. Away from home, they've had a loss and a draw so far. Do you see this as a game that Pompey should be looking to win? Of course, yeah. I, th I think you should be looking at that for pretty much every Pompey home game this season. Not, that's obviously not gonna, necessarily going to happen, but uh, Pompey should be looking to win every game at, at home. The, the, the difficulty is that Accrington won the corresponding fixture last season. They shouldn't be over overlooked or, mm -hmm. or, or underestimated mm. and yeah, yeah Pompey had a, maybe a slightly fortunate win didn't they last week against against Luton so we got to take yeah, that into account. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that I mean I think they deserved it and actually Paul Cook picked up on this yesterday on the in the presser that on reflection when you look at the stats and you, you do analyse it there it, it was probably more cause for what you initially felt I mean Paul was pretty honest that he thought yeah. Pompey got lucky with it you know but um, I, I, I don't know maybe Oh, it wasn't a smash and grab by any stretch, no, was no. it? But, yeah, the, a last-minute winner, you're no, always going to feel gonna, slightly fortuitous of course, yeah. and, and uh, fortune's on your side in that case. Mentioning that last minute winner, obviously scored by Matt Tubbs, the whole selection uh, sort of question going into the game is whether it would be Matt Tubbs or Jaden Stockley up front. How do you guys see that one? Tubbs. Tubbs. Tubbs all day for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, you know, I, I'm probably going to be sounding like a broken record, even though we've got a lovely new sofa and a lovely new set to, uh, to discuss this. <laughs> same old nonsense and Wilson. <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same old rhetoric. But uh, the Tubbs, for me, is, he's a goal scorer. He's going to score you more goals than, than Jaden Stockley. Jaden Stockley mm. will, will definitely do you a, a job in terms of you know, battering the defence. He'll win, probably win you more, more balls in the air. He'll give you that physical threat. But who do you want that chance but to fall to? If you, if you That's got, the one, if you got a ball falling to you in the box, you're going to back Tubbs to, to take that more often than you, than you will Stockley at the moment. I mean, so, yeah, let's not let's not write Stockley off. He's a, he's a young guy on loan, new to the club. He may well slot into a, a, a position where he starts scoring more more goals more frequently. We had a couple of a half chances last week where he probably one in particular in our first half he should have done better with. I felt just before half time. Yeah, and yeah. then there was another one where he was played through sort of second half. Ran away from him a little bit. Never actually got got to the point of getting a shot away. Yeah, you know, Tubbs is probably not going to give you as much around the rest of the of the pitch. Yeah, you know, we have to probably accept that he's a he's a goal scorer. He's he's, a, he's there to sort of feed off what other people can can provide for him. But for me, I, I think you got to go with Tubbs. He's, a, he's he's more he's more natural to to stick the ball away for you. I think. So he's done enough for you to get his place back in the team. What are we thinking about in terms of a result or a prediction for Saturday? Um. I mean, you, you, you made reference to the fact that Acton haven't started that well. If you look at their results, they've been in close games. They've, they've got a draw against, uh, they were 2 all with Hull um, in, in, the, in the Cup as well. Um, they've, they've been nip and tuck games. Um, they come out, there; they like to play the game the right way. So we're looking forward to another decent spectacle, which, you know, we keep making reference to the Crawley game. And, and the Luton, Luton came out and had a go. But you just find with Pompey at the moment, you fancy they're going to finish the game stronger. Mm -hmm. they, they've got that fitness. They keep knocking the door. Paul Cook will make positive changes. He will chase the game. So yeah, everyone's confident going into the game. Don't disregard Atkinson and think it's going to be a walkover because it's Atkinson. Little yeah, old, who are they? Atkinson, Stanley. It won't be like that. I'll take Pompey by the odd goal, maybe it's a 2-1. Two, two I think it's worth pointing that out as well. It's a good point. The fact that I think Morecambe game as well, they probably learned a lesson from that. Mm -hmm. I think they went probably too much in terms of trying to trying to score every time, even when they conceded the, the early goal. Instead of sort of okay, let's take take stock and, and work our way back into this. They went right. We're going to go and smash it, and then they got done a couple more times. On score the prediction. Steve. I think they'll win, and I think they'll win well. I think it'll be a two 0 For the extended version of our Pompey talk, click the link below.